Assalamu alaikum. Today, I'm gonna tell you about the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam speech in the farewell sermon. This sermon, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam delivered on the ninth day of Dhul Hajjah in the Urana Valley of Mount Arafat at the end of his first and last pilgrimage to Mecca. The farewell sermon is mentioned in almost all book of Hadith. Sahih al-Bukhari refers to the sermon and quotes a part of it. Imam Ahmad ibn Habbal has given the longest and perhaps the most complete version of this sermon in the Musnad. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam led the pilgrims from Mecca through the valley of Minna and up to the mountain of Arafat and then stopped them in the valley of Urana. They stood in front of him silently as he sat on his camel and delivered this sermon. With the crowd of over 120,000 pilgrims, his voice could not reach out to all those who were present. He, therefore, asked Rabbah ibn Umayyah ibn Khalaf, who was known to, he, to have a loud voice, to repeat the sermon after him, sentence by sentence, so that everyone could hear. The sermon is as follows. After praising and thanking Allah, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O oh people, lend me an attentive ear, for I know not whether after this ear I shall ever be amongst you again. Therefore listen to what I am saying to you very carefully and take these words to those who could not be present here today. O oh people, just as you regard this month, this day, this city as sacred, so regard the life and property of every Muslim as a sacred trust. Return the goods entrusted to you to their rightful owners. Hurt no one so that no one may hurt you. Remember that you will need meet your Lord and that he will indeed re re recon your deeds. Allah has forbidden you to take usury. Therefore all interests, obligations shall henceforth be waived. Your capital, however, is yours to keep. You will neither inflict nor suffer any iniquity. Allah has judged that there shall be no